Hey guys, me Dave. It's uh, 6-24-2021, so, um, there's a few things I want to talk about tonight, about the program and stuff. Um, I, uh, I took Tanner for a walk, uh, with my relative and my sister, and, um, he, um, he was so excited to see my sister, he jumped up, he landed on his back, and he slipped out of his leash. I had a grab him I mean I did like a dive and I had to grab him so he wouldn't run away you know I mean he he need I gotta work with him I gotta do some dog training with him he's so timid and high strung and all this stuff it doesn't help if, if you're around high strung people and stuff like that um you know fall, it goes right down to the leash you know um so it's um I gotta do some serious dog training with him so um but I woke up at 6.30 in the morning as far as targeting goes. I woke up at 6.30 and uh, tried to get back to bed. It wasn't happening. Um, they even make me run to the bathroom all afternoon. All afternoon. Uh, like three times within a half hour, you know. Um, they're making me run to the bathroom all afternoon. Um, that's their thing. They've been doing this for two or three weeks. Um, it can't be good for my system, you know. Uh, you eat and then they and then they send you to the bathroom right away, you know, or or whatever, you know. I mean, it it cannot be good for my di digestive system. Um. So there's, you know, I went I went to Ellis Call and all that stuff, and you know, listen to all those people talk and all this stuff, and um, you know, they're talking about the Havana sy syndrome and all that stuff. You know, we have a we have a problem. If you're a mind control victim, we have a problem there because a lot of us aren't getting hit in the hip. We're not getting hit in the shoulder. We're not getting hits like that. We're not getting burns. Um, I don't get any of that stuff. Um, I'm a complete mind control victim. Um, they have complete control over my nervous system. Um... I get remote neural monitoring, remote neural manipulation, and stuff. And so we have a problem. How are we going to explain, how are mind control victims going to explain that? That's where we run into a problem. Because our symptoms are different. You know, we're not getting burns. We're not getting hit in the hip. And we're not getting hit in the arm and all that stuff. I mean, some people might. But, but we're getting, you know, I do get microwaves to the head. Uh every so often, you know, so I mean, I guess that's similar to, to their symptoms, but, um, other than that, I'm a, I'm a complete mind control victim, uh, they, they control my moods, uh, they hit me with all kinds of different frequencies to control my moods, um, I get remote neural monitoring, manipulation, 24-7, um, uh, how can you go to somebody and say, I'm getting thought-triggered thought attacks? Uh, they're putting images in my mind all the time. You know, that we have a problem because we have a hard time explaining that, and nobody will believe us. Even, even, uh, even, um, you know, even though, uh, you know, I mean, they're using these weapons in all kinds of different ways. So if you're a mind control victim, you know, and you get mostly mind control, uh, how do you explain that? You know, it's going to be unbelievable. They're not going to believe, you know, they're not going to believe they can read your mind. You know, how do you go to somebody and say, oh yeah, they're reading my mind. They'd be like, yeah, right, you want to go to the loony bin, buddy? You know? So, our symptoms are different if you're a mind control victim. Um, somehow we have to try to connect that. And, and talk about remote neural monitoring and manipulation with uh, with the burns and with the uh, external attacks, the hitting, hitting the hip and the arm and all that stuff. Um, you know, how do we explain that we're being sexually assaulted uh, when we sleep? You know, how do we explain that? We can't go to a congressman and say, I'm being sexually assaulted by these weapons. The reading my mind, you know. So we have a problem there. Um, that, that's a challenge for us. We're gonna have a challenge on our hands 
uh, to talk about this stuff. Um, nobody on those calls talks about that stuff. They talk about external hits. You know, I'm being hit in the hip, I'm being hit in the knee, I'm being hit in the arm, and all that stuff. Um, nobody, really talk, nobody talks about uh, remote neuro manipulation. They don't talk about remote neuro monitoring. They're talking about the symptoms um, like the diplomats had, you know. So if you're a mind control victim, we're, being, we're kind of being left out. We got to... Um, uh, we got to be included in this in this awareness too you know because uh, they have all kinds of different weapons they're using on us and all different kinds of ways they're doing this you know uh, over horizon radar and satellites and cell towers and uh, you know all this stuff and, and uh, you know um, so we have a challenge in our hands so I just want to talk about that. Got a challenge on our hands if you're a mind control victim. Um, I do get hit with microwaves. I don't get burns. Um, I've gotten hit in the leg before. Painful, very painful. Um, mine is uh, mind manipulation. Uh, they'll sexually assault me. Uh, they'll they'll feel like they'll squeeze my balls together. Uh, sometimes. Uh, they make you run to the bathroom every 10 seconds. You know, all that stuff. How do you explain all that stuff? You know, it's unbelievable stuff. You know? So, um, we gotta, we, we can't be left out. We, go, we gotta talk about us, too. The mind control victims. You know, even if, it, even if some of these leaders don't, don't believe that that stuff is possible... It is possible. It's possible to read your mind. They're going back on your memories. They're looking at your memories and they're getting to know you. So are your memories downloaded? I don't know. It's possible. Is there room for that? It's possible. You know? Um, but they're able to look through our memories. They showed me. They showed, they showed me. It's like, it's like they're looking at a picture book looking through my memories like nothing and you can do it super fast or you can do it super slow and they're showing me how they do it they're doing it they're doing it in my hand so I can see it I can see them looking through my looking through my memories in real time you know some people don't believe that some people think that that you're thinking of a memory of your past or your childhood or something and then they're capturing that memory no, they have access to all your memories, you guys. They have access to all your memories. They're looking through your memories like a picture book, learning about you. And they're taking out whatever you've done bad, and they're interrogating you on that memory. So if you stole a pack of gum, they're going to sit there at nighttime and interrogate you. <coughs> You know, if you, uh, you know, did something else, they're going to interrogate you on that memory. You know, make you feel guilty. And they're going to talk to you if you have E2K and interrogate you on that memory. I've been through it. That's what they do. Um, some people don't want to believe that, but that's that's facts. I'm telling you, that's the facts. Even Duncan said, they, they, they have your whole life to throw in your face your whole life to throw in your face and they do you know so um some people some tias don't want to believe that but uh this is advanced that much they can look through your memories like nothing you know uh like a like a picture book and stuff so um anyway that's going on with me and uh tomorrow's friday already this week kind of flew by and stuff and uh Anyway, I suppose I'm going to cut this off. So I decided to chat a little bit. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well and stuff. And thank you for the comments. And, uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys later.